Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash and I think we're going to be talking about a bit to do with like the rest of the Arrowverse as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is to do with The Flash. Well, the first three things, then we're going to move on to a few questions which are very important. But the first thing comes from Grant Gustin. He posted this photo on his Instagram. The caption said, I know there's no new Flash for a while, so I thought I'd share this. This was from a fitting for the season 5 suit during our hiatus between season 4 and 5. And so the photo scene is him in a black leather version of the suit. So whatever material was made, basically... He confirmed, yes, this is a black flash suit. However, it wasn't actually intended to be used in the show. It's just like a fitting suit. And then they remade it and they made it into red, basically. So, you know, obviously this would be amazing if it was a black flash suit that was going to actually go ahead. Obviously, they have planned stuff like this in the past with black flash before. And in the comics, there are various situations where Barry Allen actually does wear a black suit. We'll talk about that because I'm reading off of Flash TV news here and they gave an example because in a comic art called Destiny's Hand, I didn't know about this but I got it from their site, so in an alternate version of The Flash, he wore a very dark red suit which was black and so this was a very short lived Justice League of America comic and so the photos on the screen right now you can tell, very very similar and basically a lot of people have just been excited by this photo, I got very excited by it because it looks awesome, it looks really really good and I would love to see him have an arc where he wears a black flash suit at some point. And so yeah, it's not real, but it's very exciting and I like the concept that maybe he could wear something like this in the future. Anyway, so let's move on to the next thing, this comes from TV Line, so it's a little scoop. So the question is, as someone in the Flash's West Allen fandom, it seems Barry and Iris are headed for a divorce after the Mirror debacle. Is there indeed a breakup in their future? Okay, so the answer is, after The Flash resumes Season 6 on April 21st, Barry and Iris indeed are about to experience the rockiest month of their marriage so far, showrunner Eric Wallace warns. Then he says, where it ends and what will happen as a result? Sorry, no spoilers here. So, yeah, Barry and Iris are obviously in some sort of trouble because Iris has obviously not been herself for a very long time, like God knows how long it's been now, and especially when we return. So I don't know the real time difference, but it's been like a month or something since she's been gone. So it seems like with what's happening with them and, you know, the fake version of Iris basically playing around with Barry this whole time, it's going to be rocky and like Eric Wallace said, it's going to be the rockiest month of their marriage so far. And so where it ends and what happens as a result, he won't say, but I think it'll be all fine. Although obviously it looks like it's going to be very rough along the way. Okay, so let's move along to the next article and the next article comes from comicbook.com. And so there was a recent interview with Katie Sackoff, who obviously plays Amunet Black on The Flash. And so... There's a new quote saying that she wants to return, she wants to come back to the show because she loves being on the show and everything like that. But the thing is, Amunet Black isn't a good character. She's probably, no offense to her, but she's one of the worst characters in the show. And to be honest, I think the last time she came was one of the worst appearances of her ever. You guys remember that really, really bad scene with her and Goldface? That scene was terrible. She was so bad. I'm sorry. You guys know I don't like her. Well, I'm not talking about the actress here. I'm talking about the character Amunet Black. And so the quote she was quoted as saying, For me, I really want to lean in hard to Amunet being crazy. Part of her being crazy was her accent and the way she moves. And see, I think the main problem with Amunet, number one, I don't think she's, you know, she's crazy in a certain way, but it seems very fake. So, I don't know, I don't buy into the crazy stuff, she's kind of strange, yeah, but I wouldn't say she's crazy. And the thing is, she says part of her being crazy was her accent, but her accent's just plain, it's just not good, I'm sorry, it's not good at all. And maybe that's her definition of how to play crazy, do a, a terrible English accent, like 
totally over the top, but it just doesn't translate very well, in my opinion. You know, I'm not saying anything against her, but I don't think she's a very good character. Anyway, so that's just my opinion. What do you think about Aminet? Do you like Aminet or not? And do you want to see Aminet return sometime in the future, like Katie does? Okay, so let's move over to YouTube. So you guys have sent in some questions. And so the first question comes from Bob Greenwade. And he says, if production doesn't resume to resolve the situations of The Flash, Supergirl and Batwoman within the current seasons, how will they be addressed when the new season starts? Will the old menace and the new one overlap? So I haven't really thought about that too much because I do think that The Flash and Batwoman are going to be able to go back and film their final two episodes. And I don't think it really applies to Supergirl because like there's been many reports recently, they're either going to merge episode 19 and 20 or they're just going to have like a finale episode which is episode 20 which is going to be shorter because they shot most of the episode. They literally just missed like 3-4 days so whether they mix them together or not we'll have to wait and see what their final decision is. But I would say Supergirl is not in this situation so I think Supergirl going into the next season whenever they start that and whenever that is released which is probably January time we've discussed this many times over the past few weeks the old menace will not overlap with the new but for Batwoman and the Flash I guess there's a chance that maybe they don't finish those final two episodes maybe it does overlap but I would say it's highly unlikely because it seems like they are definitely committed to finishing the filming for the season whenever they can return okay so he's got another question will diggle be going full green lantern on the new superman and lois show so superman and lois is coming out and i don't think there's going to be green lantern on it i know there were some rumors about diggle being a green lantern on it but i don't remember like any official word that he's going to be in the show so as of right now i don't know i would probably say no if Diggle did show up in the show, he'd probably just show up like he does on The Flash or something. I don't think he would go full Green Lantern. Anyway, so Matthew Collins on YouTube asks, What is the direction of the Arrowverse as a whole, especially with this new show, Saga, coming? So, as of right now, obviously Arrow ended. you still got The Flash, Supergirl, and also, I would say, Batwoman. Which is new, but it seems like they're trying to prime the show to sort of take over Arrow's position and become, like, the next big show. It's doing pretty well for them as of right now, and it seems like maybe that's going to be, like, a kind of focus in the future where you see Batwoman more and more in some of these other shows as well. But definitely The Flash and Supergirl are still leading stuff in the Arrowverse. You have Stargirl coming in, you have apparently The Green Lantern Show and a few other ones on HBO Max which are coming in. Obviously you got the link with Black Lightning, but I'd say The Flash, Supergirl and Batwoman are the sort of main shows going forward. Anyway, so Michael G on YouTube, he writes, Do you think that Argo survived the crisis? So as of right now, I would say yes. I think that Argo probably did survive, but I don't know if we're going to see it anytime soon. But it's also likely that Argo could have been destroyed, but my guess would be yes. Maybe we do go back to Argo at some point, because I don't think they're just going to, you know, obliterate Argo. But I guess they could, because they killed so many people in Avara, so I guess they wouldn't shy away from that. But, you know, it's down to you. I think maybe Argo did survive. Okay, so moving on to the final question. This comes from Paige Cornell on YouTube. She asked, do you think Kara and William will continue to go on forward? So, I think there is a chance, but they definitely have been skimming over it. They especially skimmed over their first date because I think it was due to Melissa and her sort of scheduling with her being her episode, but maybe it has something to do with her pregnancy and what was happening then at the time. However, they very much so did skim over it, and it seems like they were going full ahead with it, but then they sort of skipped over it, which is a bit weird. So I'm kind of conflicted if they're going to continue, but I would say yes as of right now. Let me know what do you guys think about that in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.